Here's six things you may not know about your Wrangler and a tip. These are things that maybe you forgot about or maybe your dealer just didn't tell you and you can't figure out how to do certain things. Let's take a look. We're gonna jump inside, gonna go ahead and get the Wrangler started up here, the old push button. Now, the first one is very handy and it can become very frustrating if uh, you don't know where it is. And I'm talking about this little rolling switch over here. It's kind of a multi-function switch. First of all, if it's all the way down like it is now, your lights will be turned off. Maybe you've tried to turn those lights on, couldn't figure out how. Well, here's how you do it. Roll it up one notch, you'll feel it click, and your lights come on, both in the front and in the back. Now, if you continue to roll it up, maybe you're wondering why your dash and your radio screens are so dim, right? Roll this up and your gauges will light up. You can push it all the way up and they'll stay as bright as they can be. Click them down one and then you can change the brightness. Might come in handy at night, during the day, who knows? Next up, did you know there are buttons right here behind the steering wheel? One on that side and one over on this side. Now, unless you felt them with your hand, maybe you've forgotten about them or you don't even know what they're for. Well, the one on the right, right over here, is to change the volume on the radio. If you look at the screen, I'm going to toggle the button. You can see up top, the music would be getting louder if I had music actually on. The other one is to toggle between stations or to search. You push that button, you can see it's going through the different satellite stations I have set up in here. Pretty handy if you don't want to operate the screen via the buttons down here. You have it handy right there behind your steering wheel. Next up, on the steering wheel, you may have noticed these funky buttons right over here. What these are for is to change the distance between you and the cars in front of you when you're using cruise control. If you click the buttons, you can go up to increase or down to increase that distance. Pretty handy if you're a cruise control user. Me personally, I'm not a big cruise control fan, so I never use them. Over here in the middle, one more. It's to get rid of that annoying stop start function. You'll see this A here with off. If you push that, it turns off the auto stop function. I am a big fan of that. I can't stand auto stop. You know, that's when you pull up to a stop sign or a stop light and your engine shuts off. Can't stand that, it's a drag. Now, there is one other way to defeat that I'll throw in right here, and that is how hard you push down on the brake pedal. If you don't push it down very hard all the way, then it will not activate, your stop start that is. It's only when you have the brake pedal depressed all the way down. Now, for the next one, we have to go to the back and I'm gonna give you a tip. Okay, back here at the back of the Jeep, right underneath this little cover here, which is where your storage area is and your spare tire uh, removal tools, is this tray. This tray is a spot to stick all of the hardware if you take the top off and some other things. Right here, you've got all these bolts that you have to take out if you wanna remove the hard top. This is a handy spot to be able to stick everything, right? And the good thing about this, if I can do it one-handed, let's see, is it comes out. So you can carry this around while you're taking those screws out and store them so that you don't lose them when you wanna put the top back in. Now notice, they even label them. We've got door hinges, so if you take the door hinges out, you can put stuff in here. We've got the roof bolts and the windshield bolts if for some reason you wanna lower that windshield. Also, real quick, just so you know, right below there is where your jack is to jack the Jeep up if you ever need to change the tire. Now, here is a tip. 
You, of course, as everybody else, gets this Jeep green bag. And in this green bag comes this little tool kit. Very handy because to take off all of the bolts and stuff that you would possibly want to is included all of these tools or different attachments to do so. Now, here's the tip. I had taken the top off before on the Jeep and I used their ratchet. The problem with their ratchet is, is it's too long. When you're in here trying to take off all of these bolts, it hits everything. There's not a lot of room to work. So I went out and I bought a mini ratchet. I also picked up a T50, which is what's required for these bolts, to be able to take those off. So you can imagine when you stick this in, it's much easier to just use this as opposed to using that longer ratchet where you're hitting everything, especially like up here in the front when you're trying to maneuver those bolts out. It's just a handy little thing to use. I find it's much easier to take things off with this than it is that bigger, longer one that Jeep provides. Just more space to be able to work. Anyway, those are just uh, six things that you may not know or you may have forgotten about with your Jeep Wrangler. Leave a comment, let me know. Were you aware of all these things or not? I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.